students, faculty, staff, alumni, trustees, friends of the college, welcome to this momentous event in the life of Wofford College. Every Wofford College student athlete and coach is with us today with the exception of the women's golf team and they're at the Country Club of Spartanburg hosting the Terrier Intercollegiate. So we'll send them our best wishes and hope in a few hours we'll hear that they brought home another win. We ex especially thank Mr. and Mrs. Richardson and their guests for joining us today. Thanks to you. Mr. and Mrs. Richardson, we have another reason to gather, another reason to celebrate, and another reason to be grateful for this extraordinary place filled with extraordinary people. And I think, Mr. and Mrs. Richardson, you know very much how I feel. And you know how very much everyone in this community feels for all that you've done for this college, for these students. And to say we're grateful to say I'm grateful doesn't express to you my true feelings. So I want you to know that we mark this day in the history of Wofford College and are just thankful that you've been a part of it. Today, we're here for the tip-off of the Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium. Tip-offs in basketball start the game. There are no dunks, blocks, and steals without a tip-off. In volleyball, a tip-off the fingers of a powerful outside hitter can be a game changer and a momentum shifter. Breaking ground today on the Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium is the start of something very special that along with the Rosalind Salinger Richardson Center for the Arts will be a game changer for Wofford College for generations to come. I can't thank you enough. And now, I'd like to invite head men's basketball coach Mike Young to the podium. Mike has led his team to four NCAA tournament experiences in the past six years. Thank you, Mike. Please. <laughs> Thank you, President Sam Hatt. At the start of each basketball season, I tell my guys that we want to be the best team that we can be. That's our goal. If we do what it takes to be the best that we can be, we will have opportunities to do really special things. One simple goal, to be the best that we can be. That's also the reason that we're here today. Mr. and Ms. Richardson and their family want Wofford to be the best that it can be. Already, construction has begun on the Roslyn Salinger Richardson Center for the Arts, a tremendous facility that will give the arts a place at the heart of Wofford's campus. I can already see student athletes taking art history or theater classes in the building, and I'm eager to tour prospective students through the building to show them, as well as tell them that Wofford student athletes are students first. Now the Richardsons have done it again with the Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium, a facility that is already helping us recruit top students and top athletes. The Benjamin Johnson Arena has served us well and has provided some incredible memories, buzzer beating shots, powerful blocks that drove the crowd to its feet, times that our Wofford student cheering section changed the momentum of the game because they were cheering so loudly for their friends and classmates on the court. In the Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium, we will make new memories and we'll do it in an incredible facility, the very best facility of its kind in the Southern Conference and beyond. When Wofford decided to make the move from Division II to the Division I level, there was a fear that we would be tempted to recruit and enroll star athletes, but not star students. If anything, our standards have increased and this facility will show an, our unwavering commitment to excellence in every facet of the Wofford experience. As we break ground today on the Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium, gratefulness just scratches the surface of how we feel. Mr. Richardson, we sure are glad that you're on our team. You have a seat on the bench anytime. Literally, a seat on the bench. <laughs>
And if you can grab a rebound and score in the post, I'll put you in the game. <laughs> We've won Southern Conference championships, knocked off big university teams, and represented Wofford and the Spartanburg community in the NCAA tournament for the past six years. Those are mountaintop experiences. This gift, however, surpasses even those. Thank you, Mr. Richardson, and thanks to your family. You've given Wofford your best, and I can promise you that we will all use it to do great things. That's our goal. I'm going to turn the podium over to someone who is every bit as grateful as I am, Lindsay Roos, head coach of our volleyball team. She's already having great success this season, and we're glad that she's now a Terrier. Lindsay? When I was asked to prepare some remarks for this occasion, I felt a bit intimidated. I've only been part of the Wofford family for less than three months. However, the more I've learned, the more I realize it doesn't matter how long you've worn gold and black. The Wofford community is built on relationships, both new and old, and it's an absolute honor to speak today. At a highly academic institution such as this, the term carpe diem may seem rudimentary, but the concept of seizing the day, making the most of each moment, and living life to the brim encompasses what Mr. Richardson and his generosity bring to this campus, our student athletes, and our community. When volleyball or basketball players lace up their shoes, step onto the arena floor, and play in the finest facility in the Southern Conference, they will think of Mr. Richardson and his ability to grasp the opportunities given to him as a young man on this very same ground, where he competed, studied, and gave back to the community he believed in. When our student athletes graduate and see the Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium as alumni, they will remember the moments of hard work and grit, the elation of victory, even the lessons learned in defeat. I am certain that one of the finest memories they will have will be of Mr. Richardson. The founder of the term Pay It Forward and his legacy in the Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium, which will be so much more than a gym or an arena or a locker room or an office. It will be a symbol of how much one person can positively affect the lives of others, how much one person's vision can impact the landscape of an entire community, and how much relationships, friendships, and a shared experience can serve as a purpose in guiding one's life. Now, Mr. Richardson, Coach Young has offered you a seat on the men's basketball bench anytime. But we coaches are competitive, so I just can't resist the opportunity to top that. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Richardson, <laughs> you're both our MVPs, so you both have reserved seats on our bench anytime. I'm pleased to turn the program over to Kentra Washington, Wofford Class of 2017, representing Wofford student athletes and the women's basketball team. Students like Kentra are the reason for this new stadium, the new center for the arts, and everything we do at Wofford College. I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but I wish I were still in high school. Don't get me wrong, I love Wofford College and I wouldn't change these past two years as a student athlete for anything in the world. Anything except maybe getting a chance to play in the arena. You see, as a member of the class of 2017, I graduate the spring before construction ends and, and play begins in the new stadium. I'd probably be jealous if I wasn't so happy for my younger teammates and the future student athletes who will compete in the new indoor stadium. I'm going to go ahead and RSVP now for the first alumni game after the grand opening of the Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium, so sign me up. <laughs> All kidding aside, I am honored to represent past, present, and future student athletes here today. Mr. Richardson, we realize the significance of the gift you've given us, and we feel the weight and responsibility we have as student athletes to use this facility and our gifts wisely, to become the best student athletes, citizens, and leaders we can be, and to leave Barford College better than how we found it. We all strive to follow your example. Mr. Richardson, for your love and commitment to Wofford College and the generations of student athletes who will practice, work out, compete, and yes, even study within the walls of the Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium, we've got one, something we want to say to you. Three, two, one. Thank 
you guys so much for everything. Thank you. Good morning. Let me add my thanks to all of you who've come by this morning to participate in this historic event for our college. I'm Harold Chandler and I uh, stand before you to represent the Board of Trustees at Wofford in extending our thanks to the Richardson family. In just a few minutes, in fact, we will officially break ground on the Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium. For many of us, uh, as I look around, particularly those of us who might be a little older in tenure, this facility represents, frankly, more than just a meticulously conceived uh, facility. It actually represents an academic building, complete with the appropriate classrooms and labs and professors, preparing many for a productive and satisfying life ahead. These coaches, they are, in fact, professors, professors of strategy and competition of geometry and physics, of love and compassion, of forgiveness, of winning more than losing, occasionally telling a student and an athlete that he or she can do better, but that it will require more effort. So are we not here today truly breaking ground on a magnificent facility in the Department of Education? education in the fullest definition. We are witnessing God's decision to bless Mr. and Ms. Richardson with your unique talents and your abundant resources. And through you, our beloved Wofford College is again being blessed. You continue to lead us with a rare balance of grace, dignity toward all people, strength, as we strive through our collective commitments to prepare students for productive and satisfying lives and doing it the Richardson way. Uh, that name, the Richardson way, hang on to that expression. I expect that we all will be hearing it and seeing it more in the days ahead. Those of you who've come out this morning may ponder, as I often do, how can we say thank you sufficiently to Jerry and Rosalind Richardson? My answer continuously seems to be inadequate, even at times like these today. I've decided that even with the appropriate importance we vest in our words, our actions are more important. Therefore, along with our genuine words of thanks, I suggest we all consider committing ourselves to living a life that they have lived. Unparalleled, de unparalleled de dedication, purposeful leadership and work and life, humility, compassion, and generosity. Let's allow the reflection of them to be seen in our lives, in what we do for others, in what we do for Wofford College. <clears throat> now, we have a, a fun event. Let's get this project underway. With those in the breaking ground group, join now at the front mound where you see some gold and black sand for our official groundbreaking. We'll move there now. I think it's going to be extraordinary. We're trying to make it be that way. Coach Young, the excitement is in the air. Everyone's really excited about the new arena. What does this mean to you? 
Uh, it means a lot. Uh, Elise, it, it, it means a great deal uh, for, you know, uh, the next several years. And, um, you know, you're a student athlete. Um, to be able to compete in one of the finest facilities at any level is um, it was something to uh, behold and something that we're all excited about. You're excited about it as a volleyball player. I'm excited about it as a uh, basketball coach. And what this will do for us, for our campus, uh, for all student athletes, to be able to bring kids here uh, on visits, um, it's just a, a wonderful time and uh, certainly appreciative of uh, the generosity of the Richardson family uh, through the years and then again here today. They are uh, they're amazing people and um, as I said in my comments, I'm, I'm glad they're on our team. I certainly am. Jay Richardson's been a part of Wofford for a very long time and his contributions are obviously paying back now. Could you talk a little bit about the value of legacy at Wofford College? Well, it's, you know, it speaks for itself. And I, you know, I think Mr. Ridd, this is his campus. This is where he had the opportunity to c compete as a uh, college football player. This is where he got a first uh, rate education. And, um, you know, his generosity and his willingness to uh, make it better, uh, appreciate uh, what uh, this place did for him. And he wants to, you know, see others, um, you know, benefit moving forward. Um, again, we're uh, incredibly uh, grateful to uh, their family and everything they've done for us. Coach Farmer, how special is this groundbreaking for you and your team? Oh, it's been historical. I mean, it is absolutely a fantastic moment uh, in Wofford Terrier Athletics and for the women's basketball program. Uh, for all of the young women who have paved the way to get to this point, they're a part of this as well. So to be able to break ground on such a special building that's going to hold even more special memories, uh, it's just an exciting feeling to be a part of. And Jerry Richardson has been a part of Wofford College for a very long time as he went to school here as well. What does legacy mean to you? Well, I mean, we can't thank Mr. Richardson enough for um, being the benefactor for this incredible building and what he did years ago, sowing the seeds of getting us to this point, his legacy means everything because if it wasn't for him, uh, we wouldn't have the Richardson building and we wouldn't have these great buildings that are uh, going up on our campus right now. So legacy is everything for us and you know we can't thank him enough, I can't thank him enough for this tremendous gift. Coach, ground has been broken on the Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium. What does this mean to you and your team? It's an exciting time to be a Wofford Terrier, and we're just excited to watch it be built from the ground up and then actually get to play in it. As a new coach here, you can already see the importance and legacy and tradition here at Wofford. What does legacy mean to you? When you walk into a place that has such a storied past, it's um, just really an honor to be part of it. And to even have the opportunity to speak today was really special. So um, I'm just glad that I had the opportunity to, to be here.